Hey guys, so today I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on how to enable both your background wallpaper as well as multitasking on your either your iPhone 3G or your iPod Touch second generation. Now of course I just did a video on Jailbreak Me if you guys want to check that out. It's an all-in-one jailbreak solution. Really fantastic. Um, but the one downside to using Jailbreak Me is that you cannot actually go ahead and enable these features in your iPhone or iPod Touch. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a fairly brief tutorial on how to do it. It's not all that difficult, so let's go ahead and get this one started. Okay, so once you have City open, we're just going to need to search for an application, and this is iFile. So go ahead and over to search, and then type in iFile. It will be a little bit laggy. Um, so there we go, there's the one, it should say from Big Boss, so go ahead and click on it. Um, now, I will mention that right now, actually, as you see, with the spinning wheel, it is taking a little while to go ahead and download from Big Boss, so if it does take a minute, just leave it alone. Um, now, it does say free trial, it's a commercial package, but guys, don't worry, you do not have to pay for this at all. Um, you can go ahead and use the free version of it as long as you want, it's just entirely optional to go ahead and pay for it. So once it's go ahead and downloaded, go ahead and back out of Cydia. Okay, so just go ahead and open up iFile. Um, now it might now you what you're gonna need to do is you need to go ahead, ahead and backspace all the way out to as far as it'll go and the back button will disappear. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to system, then library, then if you scroll down just a little bit to core services, and lastly springboard.app. Okay. So now guys we're going to be looking for a file. Let me just it's a little bit of a, a hassle to you know scroll through all these files, but it's not a big deal and once you're uh once you're in there, it's not too bad. So you scroll all the way down, and down, and down, and right here. Okay. So if you're on iPod Touch, it will say n72ap.plist. Um, if you're on iPhone 3G, it will say n82. Doesn't matter. It works both the same way. So go ahead and click on this plist file. Now I'll go ahead and just show you a bunch of codes. Not a big deal. What we're going to need to do is edit. And what you're going to need to do is come down where as soon as it says accelerometer. Oops. I didn't need to hit it right there. So as soon as you see accelerometer and then the true file, we're going to need to go ahead and put it below that. Now be sure to not go ahead and separate these. So as you guys can see, it's, there's going to be a key and then a true file for each one. Okay. So what, basically what you're going to do is just tap on it and type it out. And I'm going to go ahead and show you. Now there are three different ones, or rather two different ones that you're going to be adding. So as you guys can see here, you're going to want to type in key internet. I'm sorry, key home screen dash wallpaper then out of key, then true. I'll go ahead and have this so you guys can read it. So that is what you're going to need to do. Just type that in exactly as it is. Um, just be sure, like I said, guys, to put it in the right spot. Go right up here to where the accelerometer and then the true is. Then backspace down once. So for, let me just go ahead and show you because if you do it wrong, you can actually mess some stuff up. So go ahead, hit return, and then now you will go ahead and type it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and ignore that. But um, So you go ahead and put that in for a home screen wallpaper. Now if you want multitasking, Come on down. You'll, again, you can do it the same way. It'll automatically alphabetize itself. So then you're going to go ahead and do key, multitasking, key, then true. Okay? So again, go ahead and take a look on the screen. That's exactly how to spell it and everything. Now, guys, once you're done, go ahead and hit done. And then go ahead and hit save. And then just go ahead and exit out of your iPhone or iPod Touch. And then go ahead and just manually reboot it. So, guys, here it is on my iPod Touch second generation. As you obviously can see, I'll go ahead and jump into settings and show you guys. Um, we have wallpaper so we can go ahead and do it however we like so let's just pick this one um, I said as both just as a demonstration I'm sure you guys trust me but there you guys go and if we go ahead and double click the home button there we go we have multitasking there you go guys um, it's a little bit of a complicated tutorial but really it's not that bad it shouldn't take you more than three or four minutes to go ahead and complete it from start to finish and there you go guys that's how to go ahead and get home screen wallpaper as well as mul native multitasking on your iPod touch second generation or iPhone 3G anyway guys Thanks for watching.